In previous video, we have seen how we can use the principal component to reduce the dimensions and remove the multicollinearity problem. So, these are the scatter plot between different principal components that is PC1, PC2, PC3 and PC4 and this is uh, the correlation coefficient uh, between the principal components. So, this principal component they are orthogonal to each other by making the linear combination of the normalized variable sepal length, sepal width, petal length and petal width. So, we can get rid of with the multicollinearity problem which occurs when the variables are highly correlated with each other and we have seen that the petal length and petal width these two variables they are highly correlated with each other if you remember the correlation coefficient between pc3 and pc that is uh, petal length and petal width was uh, 0.97 which was very high amongst all and uh, that leads to the problem of multicollinearity okay so we'll try to create the by plot so to create the by plot i can use the library called dev tools dev tools so run this library device tools so we can use this package package to create the by plot uh, we have to ensure that before we create the by plot we have also installed the library or the package called ggpyplot so to install this ggpyplot package we have to install it from the github i have already installed it on my system so i'm not going to run this line so uh, run this uh, package called ggbyplot so you can ensure this package by uh, installing the library called ggplot2 run this library i will run this library so after running this library ggbyplot will create the byplot using this ggbyplot function so the first argument that we have uh, given to this function is the principal component. So, in PC object, we have all our four principal components. We made the observation dot scales to one, then variable dot scale to one. We have groups for the train data set for the factor variable species. There are three different levels for this factor variable species that is Setosa, Versicular, and Virginica. Then, uh, we are creating we want ellipse uh, for all the data instances then we also need the circle for the by plot and then we specify the ellipse probability to be uh, 0.68 so this is the default uh, probability for the ellipse so this 68 percent instances will be covered by the ellipse you can change this uh, value uh, as much as you want till uh, 100 percent Okay, let's run this line okay then I will create the uh, scale color for this object G I will also create I will run this line for the direction and position of the by plot now we'll run this will print this object G so which will create the by plot Okay, so let's zoom this by plot. So this is the y plot. So x axis represents the PC1 and y axis it represents the PC2. So PC1 it uh, explains the 73% variability whereas PC2 it explains about 21% variability. So this ellipse it covers the 68% of instances. So if you change the size of this uh, ellipse if you uh, change the probability of the ellipse you can see that I'll increase it to 95 percent and let's run this so zoom this plot So now you can observe that this ellipse has covered the maximum instances. So now we we have uh, increased this probability from 0.68 to uh, 0.95. So 95 percent of instances will be covered by this ellipses. Now uh, this circle is nothing but the by plot. This circle 
it has four arrows with respect to each normalized variable that is sepal length, petal width, petal length and sepal width. Okay. Now, the arrows which are very closer to each other, that means the variables are very similar to each other. And we have seen in the summary of this uh, principal components that the petal width and petal length, they are highly correlated with each other. Uh, on the other hand, the sepal length is uh, highly correlated with these two variables, petal width and petal length, and that's why their values are uh, positive. If you talk about the last variable, that is sepal width, which has the negative value that we have observed in the summary of principal component. So, the sepal width uh, is you know, far away from these uh, two variables. So, the variability between the sepal width and any of this variable is on the lower side. So, that means the sepal width is uh, not highly correlated to this any of this variable. Okay. Now, the, uh, the instance which is far away on the right hand side, which has the high value for the principal component 1. If the, vary, if the instance has the high value for the principal component 1, then it means that that instance has high value for these three variables, sepal length, petal width and petal length. In the same way, there is one more instance on the, which is far away on the left hand side of this pie plot, which means that uh, this variable has low value for the principal component 1, which means that it has also low value for the sepal length, petal length and petal petal width variable okay so this by plot is very important tool to analyze your principal components and their confidence or their contribution to build the machine learning model i hope you understand thank you for watching this video